All right, so our yoga class today on this beautiful day. Every day is a beautiful day, right? Wake up in the morning and just say, today is going to be the best day of my life. And believe it. Yeah, good. All right, so we're going to work on a little bit of, you know, in our society today, we were just talking about it, um, that there, there is a lot more stresses, I think, for the mind, right? I think, you know, 50 years ago, 100 years ago, 1,000 years ago, the human, us humans were busy physically with, you know, finding food and planting food. And, you know, so it was that kind of stress, the physical, more the physical stress. And we've morphed into a society where our body has become fairly stagnant. We sit a lot, sit at our computers. Um, and so it's a lot more mental chatter that happens. And that's why we have this monkey mind that goes on and on and on. And I, I said in my email to everybody, you know, the mind is designed to just, you know, address our day to day issues. And then, but we can't shut it off. And so then we keep thinking of other issues and other things. And, you know, that just causes so much anxiety and stress. And when our body is stressed, I literally had some decision I had to make and I couldn't understand why I had a stomach ache, like a nauseous stomach ache for, you know, for, you know, whatever reason. And I'm starting to think, what am I eating? I changed my, do I change my diet? This and that. And the minute I made the decision on that issue, all of a sudden my stomach ache was gone. So our body manifests what's going on in the mind. Many times we can feel that somewhere in our body. So this practice helps us to whew, just get rid of that stress, let the body release it. Because if the body keeps holding on to all that, it becomes sick. The body becomes sick. It can't take it for too much longer, you know. So we're going to start with a bostric of breath today. So maybe scooting forward in your chair a little bit and getting a nice tall spine. It might be a good idea now that I told you to sit, to get a Kleenex. We're going to be blowing out of our nose with our breath. So you might want to have a Kleenex handy or prophylactically uh, blow your nose before we start. Um, and this breath is called Bastrika and it helps to us release the stress. So we, we're going to do several things during practice today to help us to de-stress our body. Much of the time, we're not even aware that we are tense, that we are stressed. Um, and, and so having an awareness of, you know, that and having a tool to be able to get rid of it or several tools is a good idea. We were also talking about just simply getting out in nature, even in the winter, if you can get out in nature, if you have a porch, a patio, you know, or, or you can take a walk, you know, it's so healing. You'll see. Yeah. So I encourage that. Um, but being careful, especially when it gets slippery. All right. So let's arrive in our chairs. Noses are blown. We're ready to go. All right. So nice tall spine, meaning that the, you know, heart feels a little bit lifted and the shoulders are uh, just gently back and down. You can even bring that, well, we're gonna use our hands. So we're gonna bring our hands into a fist and we're gonna bring them to the side of our body. So the fists are about right in line with your shoulders. And we're gonna do a couple very slow. I don't know what's going on with your shoulders. So you're gonna only take your arms up. We're gonna be raising the arms up and down. That's basically what we're gonna be doing, breathing in and out of our nose, yeah. But let's just do a couple practice runs to see how your shoulders are doing. Yeah, so we're gonna inhale. As you inhale, you're gonna spread your fingers wide. And as you exhale, you're gonna bring your hands into fist and just drop your arms down alongside your body. Yeah. And again, we're gonna take arms up and then close the fist and drop down. Now, if your shoulders are, you know, you can just do this, or if you have uncontrolled high blood pressure, maybe you just wanna go you know, little baby ones like that. That's good for us. Yeah. All right. So are we ready? So we're going to do about 10 breaths, about three rounds of this breath. And you can keep your eyes open if you want to watch me, or you can close your eyes at some point. Yeah. So, and then like, everything is in and out of the nose. So let's take a cleansing breath in and breathe out. 
And now when we breathe in, throw it through your hands up. And when we breathe out, drop your arms down. And relax the hands down, palms up on your lap. At this point, if you thought, thought, oh, I should have blown my nose better, this might be a time to do that. This is really good for our sinuses, getting rid of the sinus congestion that you have. Yeah. And it also helps to, um, we also, also call this yogic coffee. So it gives us some energy. All right, now we're gonna do another round. So maybe closing the eyes this time, bringing your arms alongside your body, loose fists, loose fists, yes, next to your shoulders. You're gonna take a cleansing breath in and breathe out and then begin. Breathe in as the arms go up and exhale as the arms drop down. Fingers spread as you go up and then come back to fist as you go down. And just give it your 100%. Big breath. And relax. Palms up on your lap. Body relaxed. Notice the effects of the breath. If at any point this breath doesn't feel good, you don't need to use your arms. You can just breathe in and breathe out with us. Yeah, taking good care of yourself. All right, and we're going to do that one more time. So this breath helps us to get rid of stress. Our body needs to release the stress somehow. And breath is a, the biggest key to getting rid of our stress. So let's again bring our arms one more time, third round into the on either side. Arms are relaxed alongside body, fists are loose. Good. Let's take a cleansing breath in and breathe out. And then let's begin. Breathe in, arms up, and breathe out, arms down. In, out, up, down. And when you're ready, relax the palms, palms up on your lap, relax the body. Again, notice the effects of the breath. Maybe you feel a little more energized. Maybe you feel a little more relaxed. Yeah. We're just gonna, with our eyes closed here now, nice slow belly breath. So again, in and out of the nose, on an inhale breath, breathe in and feel your belly puff up. And then breathe out and feel your belly draw back to your back spine. And breathe in, belly relaxed and it puffs up. Exhale, relax the belly, squeeze it back gently. Do about five more of those big belly breaths, big Buddha breaths. Smile on the face, back to our innocence. This is how we breathe, started to breathe from the day we were born, just like this. And then relax the breath now. And before we open the eyes, we'll just begin our practice with the primordial sound of Om. And Om connects us, connects us to each other, to the universal energy, to nature. 
Yeah. And that is why when things are happening to other people around us, we still feel that we take it on as if it's some, somehow happening to us just because we are all connected. Yeah. So sending some beautiful energy out into the world. Let's take a cleansing breath in through the nose and breathe out through the nose. And now take a nice big breath in for Om. Om. Just imagine that vibration from that sound, like a string of pearls connecting all of us together. Yeah, we are all in this together. Good. And now when you're ready, you can just gently start to flutter the eyes open, light and slowly. Mm, beautiful way to start the day, right? And to start our practice. All right, we can bring the hands down on our laps, see if you lost that nice tall spine and lift the heart. Good, and take a nice big breath in. And as you exhale, let's just drop our head to forehead down, chin to chest. Let's just do a little half circles here. So reach the chin up towards the right shoulder as you breathe in and then drop it to the chest and then reach the chin up to the left shoulder and drop your chin to chest. Just imagine and then again, do one more right and left. And each time you exhale your breath and practice, imagine just letting go, surrendering to any things that you're holding on to. Yeah. And one more, just lifting up a little higher. Maybe. Good. And then next time the head comes forward, pause, press into your toes, and on an inhale breath, lift the head back up. Keep the back of the neck long and lift the chin up. You're stretching this, opening up this thyroid, thymus gland, your throat. And then exhale, drop your chin to chest. And then inhale, lift the chin. Yeah, look up. Sometimes just the act of looking up. The saying that Buddha said is when you get all up in your head, just lift your head and laugh at the sky. Yeah. And now bring the head back to neutral. Good. Let's do full circles. So take a breath in. As you exhale, relax the head over to the right. Ooh, relax the left shoulder down. Notice how your neck feels on this side. Good. And then we're going to inhale and lift the head up and back a little bit. And exhale the head to the other side. And down. So let's just start to make two more nice slow circles here with our heavy head, our eight pound to 10 pound head. The neck is holding up that, let's say it's the weight of a bowling ball or a 10 pound bag of flour. So our neck can get tight. Yeah. Next time the head comes forward, pause and reverse. Go the other way, bringing a smile onto your face, just kicking off those feel good endorphins in the brain. Turning the corners up on your mouth sends a signal to the brain to let go of those, like release those feel good hormones. Yeah, thinking this body must be happy. And then press down into your feet and slowly lift the head back up. Yeah secret is even if you don't feel happy and if you come to a smile and it's kind of a fake smile same messages go to the brain oh this body must be happy let's release those hormones <laughs> yeah so good all right so let's come to a little um relax the arms down and let's just roll our shoulders so as we said you know stress our bodies are stagnant more than they ever have been in society and but filled with so much more mental stress. Yeah, and then release and go the opposite direction. 
We know so much, we learn so much, which can be good, but it can also be stressful. Because the more we learn, the more we realize, especially technology, the more we don't know. <laughs> and relax. And that's okay. Sometimes it's just like, I don't want to know anything today. Yeah. All right. On an inhale breath, let's reach the arms out and up. So my teacher calls this the, the computer neck uh, hack, right? So if you're ever feeling tight here in your upper shoulders, just bring your arms out, relax your shoulders, spread your fingers wide as you can. Yes, arms about in line with the shoulders and then just wave your hand like you're the king and queen of the world and you're waving to all the people cheering for you. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to be in that position ever, but some people find that that would be so cool. All right, and then come back to center. Keep the fingers spread wide. Start to bend the elbows. Bring your wide fingers to the back of your head and your thumb to right around your jaw joint, right around your jaw. Yeah, just in that area. Good. And then reach the elbows back. Again, try to relax the shoulders. Good. And then the hands are stabilizing the head. And now we're going to move our eyes. We're going to look over to the right. And then look over to the left. And over to the right. And over to the left. And one more. Over to the right. Over to the left. Bring your gaze back forward. We're going to reach the gaze up towards the sky, roll up to the sky and look down at the floor and up and down and up and down. Come back to center, look forward. Now we're going to do circles, three on, in each direction. So look, looking up and to the right and down and to the left. Nice slow circles. Do three clockwise or whichever way you are going and then do three slow circles very mindful yeah slow is better because you can go deeper when you've done three in that direction just look forward blink your eyes blink 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 and slowly release your arms down good so again, if you're ever maybe reading for a long time or on your computer for a long time, and just you know do that occasionally and, and roll up the shoulders, and you'll see that that opens up your shoulders. It, it brings energy back to your brain. Your, it helps to um, get your eyes to um, refocus. It's very healthy for our eyesight. Yeah, good. Okay. So we're going to come again, if you're not scooted forward in your chair, scooting forward uh, toward the front of the seat. Good. Then a little cat cow here. So on an inhale breath, lift the chest, look up. On an exhale breath, slide your hands forward and relax your head forward. That should feel good on the back of your neck. Press into your feet to start to lift the head back up. Hands slide up, reach the elbows back. And exhale, slide the hands forward, relax the head down. Let's do that one more time. Inhale into this cow pose. And exhale into your cat pose. Yeah. And slowly come back up. If you're ever on all fours, you know, on the floor, cat cow is done on the mat that way. And that's a really nice way to wake up your back, just doing these gentle little cat cows or sitting in your chair. Yeah. And it's a nice way to wake up your spine, especially in the morning when we get up and work stiff. I'm stiff always, right? So I just do a little moving and it helps. All right, so take a breath in again. And as you exhale, lean the belly forward. So hinge at your hips a little bit and bring our arms here for Cobra. So this is a nice, stretch for the spine. Yeah, if this doesn't feel well to you, if it's having your elbows down, feels like too much on your back, you can have your hands here. Yeah, with the body just pitched forward slightly. Yeah, good. If you're here with your arms and elbows on your lap, on your knees, fingers are just reaching forward. Good. Take a nice breath in 
And as you exhale, start to slide your elbows back so you can feel the skin of your thighs stretching back too. And then the top of your head gently reaches forward. We're looking down, good. And then on an inhale breath, imagine the spine growing so long as you start to lift your chin, maybe looking forward and breathe. So your, your forearms are gliding back. Yeah, and you're looking up. If your hands are on your thighs, same thing, same concept. Yes. And then release and relax. Keeping your arms right now where they are. We're gonna come into a version of Superman. Uh, yeah, or Superwoman here. So only if this feels good, we wanna take your belly, bring your awareness to the energy around your navel and draw your navel back towards your spine. We're engaging our core. This is good core work here. Good. And then if it's available to you, lighten the, relax the arms, take that uh, a slide back, you know, just relax the arms. Yes. And if you can, bring your right arm forward. Yes. And maybe your left arm forward. Yeah. And really tuck that belly back because if you feel this too much in your back, bring the body up a little bit. And maybe look to have the arms around alongside your ears. And breathe. Palms are facing each other like your Superman or woman flying in the air, flying through the sky. Yeah, and breathe. I know it's challenging. It can drop down at any time or bring the body up a little bit more. This is getting to feel too much on the back. Yes, for two and for one. You can bring your hands now down to your thighs. Good. And then on an inhale breath, slowly bring the body back up. So that really strengthens the back muscles. And the more we can strengthen our back muscles and our belly, the more we'll relieve that back pain because low back pain is, a, is a, an epidemic in our society. Yeah, and we feel that both physically because we sit a lot, all these muscles just get so lazy, right? And also the stress in our life. And metaphorically, when you have back pain, it can re result metaphorically in feeling like you're not feeling supported in life. That's what sometimes back issues are. So when we strengthen all of that, we can handle more. Yeah, good, good, good. All right, so we're gonna come into a little a twist here. So we're gonna take our right leg and just draw it, draw it over our left. Yeah, good. And then, or you can cross at your ankles. And let's find that nice tall spine. Good. And now let's relax the arms down and let's find those Superman or Superwoman arms and reach them up towards this guy. Yeah, take a nice big breath in. As you exhale, relax, pivot to the right, and then relax your arms down. Yeah, I know we do this a lot, but let's just pay attention today. Do it 100%. The spine is tall, yes. This left arm is gently pressing into the right thigh or the hand. And then when you have your nice tall spine, you can turn and look over the right shoulder. Bring a smile to your face and find your belly breath. So this is good for digestion and I guess Thanksgiving is coming up on Thursday. We tend to eat a lot more than we usually do. So give your body a chance to digest. Yeah, so nice belly breath after dinner, gently, not big. will help that digestion move and relax. Good, and slowly come back forward. Good, and release. Let's go to the other side. So either cross legs or ankles, um, yes. And with the leg, you wanna make sure that you have a nice tall spine here. We don't want a rounded spine as we twist ever. That's, you know, not good for the spinal column. So we want a tall spine, shoulders back, arms down. Let's find our super woman and superman arms. Take a nice big breath in. Exhale, relax and turn to the other side. Good. And then relax your arms down. Good. 
good. That right arm's on the end, or hand is on the outside of the left thigh, pressing in. So I'll turn the body a little bit more to the left. Turn the head to the left. Find a couple belly breaths here. Massaging out the belly breath. Belly. And as you exhale, relax the body now. Slowly bring the head forward, bring the body forward. Yeah, and release. All right, we're gonna do a little uh, pose called dancer pose. Um, seated dancer. So we're gonna start with our right leg here. We're gonna slide your foot underneath your chair. So maybe coming to the top of your foot, for, uh, but tucking the toe straight back. Yes, and it's a little easier if you're a little bit more forward in your chair, you can tuck a little bit more and the knees just reaching down. Yeah, good. And then we're gonna take a breath in and on an inhale breath, we're gonna reach the left arm up. And we're gonna take the right arm back. And we're gonna lift the chin and look up and breathe. So when you're doing this standing, you're holding on to that right foot with your right hand. But we're not going to do that here unless you're a pretzel. Yeah. And breathe. Keep the chest lifted. Good. And then exhale. Release that arm down. Release both hands down. Take that right hand and help to take that leg up from underneath you. If tucking your leg under is uncomfortable for you, you can just slide the foot back. So start sliding the left foot back. Come onto the all of your foot and if it keeps going back, fine. If not, that's okay too. Just find your range of motion that's comfortable on your body. Good. All right, and once that knee is down to wherever it lands, we're gonna reach the right arm up. Good. We're gonna take that left arm and reach it back as if we're gonna grab onto that left foot. Yeah, and then lift the chin, lift the chest, look up and breathe. Long, slow, deep breaths for two and one. And then release and relax, just to release the arms back onto the thighs. Take that left hand and help slide that left leg out from underneath your chair. Good. And shake, shake, shake. Let's do our shake thing. Also, major way to get rid of stress is just shake it off, yeah, and relax. All right, feel free to remain in your chairs. We're gonna do some standing poses now. Yeah, so feet planted onto the floor, feel the thighs, you're gonna use the thighs, you're gonna press the chest forward and up as you lean forward, press the heart forward and up to slowly come to a comfortable stance. And we'll meet behind our chair. All right, so we've been sitting for a little while, so just shake, shake your body, wiggle it. Yes, wiggle the feet. Yeah, see how you feel. It is amazing how almost every day our body feels differently because there's so many factors in, you know, what we ate the day before, what we did the day before, how much stress we have, what, you know, and there's so many factors. And so just embrace that it's just like okay this is today hmm you know and not obsess about it what did I do how do I not do that and just be okay with what's going on and then just do this yoga <laughs> all right so we're going to come into so ha huh, another great way to get rid of stress we're going to bring our feet about a little wider than hip distance apart so my son is taking a big monster test today it's all day long you know and so he's, of course, we get nervous and anxiety and nerves a little bit are okay because it keeps us moving forward in life. So that when, you know, say you have a procedure the next day or you're nervous about whatever it is, here's another little hack to get rid of stress. I think we've done this before. But we wanna start with our knees bent and just bringing our arms up. Yeah, okay, and then take a nice, this is all about the breath. And it's gonna come out like, ha, as loud as you can. Yeah, so bringing the arms up and ha, out. Inhale, straighten the knees, ha, exhale. Inhale, straighten the knees, arms up, 
Ha, exhale. All right, so literally just three times doing that, you know. And so it's holidays, we are getting together with people, we're traveling, there's a lot of things, more things to be stressed about. And that's just a really quick way to get rid of your stress. Three times, right? So let's do that one more time, just three times. We're gonna, ha, 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 that's it. All you need to remember, yeah. And if, of course, you're with people or, you know, you're, you arrive at the place and you're like, okay, I can't really do that because everybody's gonna be looking at me like I'm crazy. You can grab a Kleenex like we did at the beginning of class or just in your hand like you're coughing and you can do ah, ah, ah. so people will just think you're coughing or sneezing into your hands you get the same effect all right all these little hacks for the holidays yeah all right let's just wiggle it out shake it out let's bring our feet a little bit wider apart and of course the classic one for our ha huh is our side to side so soften the knees, inhale to one side, and ha, exhale to the other. Give it your 100%. Ha, we're on Zoom, so you're probably in your home, so get as loud as you can. Ha, 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 one more, ha. All right, you're gonna be as relaxed as a noodle after class, because you're, Ooh, we are dumping all that stress. Just let it go. Surrender it to the universe. Yeah, good. All right, so let's um, come to what's called sacred circles. Yeah. So again, we're gonna come now to mountain pose. Feet about hip distance apart. Palms are forward, shoulders relaxed back and down. Tummy tucked back, kneecaps lift. It's the one I always forget is the kneecaps lift. But by now, hopefully we feel that how it engages these big muscles, right? To keep us strong and upright. Good, all right. So we are gonna bend our knees here. Yeah. And we're gonna bring our hands to our heart in Anjali Mudra, good. And then on an inhale breath, we're gonna straighten the knees and reach the arms up and separate the arms and reach them back and down. So let's marry that and then really soften the knees. We're gonna just do a couple circles. So inhale, gracefully reach up. You can even look up and out and exhale down and back. And one more, inhale, big breath. And exhale down and hands to heart. And we're gonna reverse that. So take a breath in. And exhale, hands down and inhale, straighten knees. Reach out and up, palms together, and exhale, hands to heart. Take a breath in, and exhale, arms down, soften the knees. Reach out and up as you inhale, palms together, and bring them down as you exhale. Last one, take a breath in, and exhale, bend the knees, relax the arms down, and inhale like you wanna just in, embrace the whole world, yeah. And exhale, hands down. So the inhale breath energizes us, brings us energy. And that exhale breath is designed to release, detoxify, relax. Yeah, good. All right. So let's come into a little, a little twist here. So we're gonna, again, start with our hands in prayer position. We're gonna inhale and reach the arms up. Let's come to our superwoman, superman arms. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, soften the knees, and we're gonna twist over to the right and reach your right arms out about halfway down. Good, left arm reaching back. Inhale up as the body comes forward, arms come up, and exhale to the other side, spreading your wings. Inhale up, don't take it too far but take it to, and then all this twisting is good detoxifying. So if you're um, not coming to Friday class after you've eaten all of this stuff on Thursday, do some twists. Yeah. And inhale back up and bring your hands together and slowly float your hands back to your heart and relax. Good. Roll out the shoulders. 
Nice. Okay. So we're going to um, bring our hands onto our thighs here. We're going to take a big breath in. And as you exhale, you're going to start to slide your hands down. Yeah. You can keep looking forward. Just slide your hands to about where your knees are. Yeah. Good. And let's just do little baby circles with our knees. Getting some lubrication in our knee joints and around the knee joints. Good. And then reverse opposite direction. Good. And come back to center here. Good. We're going to keep our knees here where they're, where they're bent. And maybe reach the hips back a little bit more. Good. And then see if you can lift your heart. We're slowly making our way into chair pose. So lift your heart. Look forward. And let's see if we can bring those superwoman arms up. Maybe one, maybe the other. Yeah. Look up between your hands and breathe. And if this is too much on your back, tuck that belly back, engage that core. And if that's not helping, maybe bring your hands back to your thighs. But looking up and finding your breath. And with each exhale breath, See if you can sit another eighth of an inch further down towards that imaginary chair. Yeah, and breathe and smile and try with your exhale breath to release the tension in this pose. This is challenging. Yeah, good. Pressing into your toes, let those help. Two more breaths, you've got this. Good, good, good. And then on your next exhale breath, gently float your hands back down onto your thighs. Good. Press into your toes. Look at towards the floor and slowly press into your toes to soften those knees and start to straighten the knees. Yeah. Good. And then bring the shoulders back, head up and relax. Come into mountain pose. It's a gentle mountain pose. Feel free to close your eyes. Notice the heart, the heartbeat, pumping blood through your body. Yes. Working the body, getting the circulation going, the metabolism going. Just that alone um, is healthy for the body, helps us to uh, boost our immune system and keep the organs functioning. Yeah keeping this beautiful body just operating optimally. All right, and relax, all right. And we'll do a little shake out here. All right, and for this next one, where you might need the back of your chair. So if you don't have the back of your chair, uh, chair handy, just set yourself up so you have something to hold on to because we're gonna do our some balance here. Yeah, and we're gonna take this to all different, you're gonna just take it to where it is comfortable for you. A little bit of a challenge. We always wanna challenge ourselves a little bit, you know, as I said, my one of my favorite quotes is the quotes is um, change and challenging yourself is very scary, right? But what's even scarier is regret. So we wanna give it our best know that we did our best and then just surrender the rest right that's the perfect formula to just stay healthy and happy yeah so we're going to challenge ourselves do our best and just take it where we can and surrender the rest all right so we're going to just start with arms out and up yes and we're going to interlace our hands above our head yeah and then let's flip our palms up and reach the palms up. So we're gonna come into some side bends. Notice what's going on in your belly. Tuck your belly back and take a breath in. And as you exhale, lean over to the left and inhale. We're just warming up the spine here. Come up, exhale over to the other side. You can bend your elbows here if you'd like. If having the arms up feels too much of a strain, yeah. So just massaging the spine very gently side to side, opening up one side and the other, and coming back up, good. And then unlace your hands and just relax your arms down. 
and good. And roll your shoulders out. Good, great. So we're gonna do a side bend balance here. So this is where you wanna maybe start with holding on to, um, well, we're gonna bring our arms up. So again, arms can either come out and up or they can come forward and up. Good. I'm gonna take a nice big breath in. And as you exhale, you're gonna lean over to the left. Good. And now, either staying right there, or you can feel free to drop your left hand onto the chair. And we're gonna slide, we're gonna bring the weight into the left leg and slide the right toe out to the side. Yeah, a little balance challenge here. Engage the standing kneecap, right? This leg is nice and strong. Good. All right, and so either remaining right here, yeah, or you can lift, feel free to lift the toe up off the floor. Yeah, good. If you want more of a balance challenge, you can always drop that left arm towards the floor. Good. And if you want more, you can point and flex that right foot. Point and flex. Yeah, you've got this. So take it to, you can drop the toe at any time. One more, good. And then drop the toe, if you had it up. Slowly bring your body back up. Release that right arm down, let it float down. Good. And then slide your right foot back next to your left. How'd that go? Oh, so many different options to challenge yourself, yeah. And sometimes you just try it and you're like, oh no, that doesn't feel good. And so the best thing to do, the most hardest thing to do in yoga class is to modify, right? And back off because you do not want to get injured. There should never be any injuries in yoga. And typically they happen when you push yourself too far, right? Then that's not the practice of yoga. Let's do the other side. All right, so starting back of your chair, reach the arms forward and up. Good, and now you kind of know where we're going here. So take a nice big breath in and exhale, reach up and just lean over to the right now. You can keep both arms up if you want more of a challenge. Yeah. You can slide your foot out to the side if you want more of a challenge. If you do that and you want to drop your right arm onto the chair, that's an option. Good. And then either remaining right here, engaging that right leg, squeezing that right glute, maybe float that left toe up an inch off the floor. Yeah. And again, you can drop that right arm anytime. You can drop the toe anytime. If you're going to point and flex that left foot, find a spot to stare at that helps balance and breathe and smile and just be playful here. Yeah. I'm dropping that toe anytime. Yeah. And now we're all going to drop the toe. If you're up there, you are up there. Good. And then we're going to slowly bring the body back up and go ahead and release your arms down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then slide your left foot back next to the right. Okay. And shake it out. Nice work, everyone. All right. So you can keep your chair right where it is. You might need it for the lunge, but let's just take a little break for our hips here. Might feel nice to just wiggle out the hips, maybe come a little wider apart with the legs and soften the knees and just do some circles with the hips. Yeah, maybe you picked up a little tension there with that balance. Good, and then reverse, go the opposite direction. Good, all right and come back to center. So then another thing that happens when we sit a lot, I mean, when you think of how often you sit during the course of your day, sitting in our car, sitting at the table, sitting at our computer, sitting in a doctor's office, sitting, you know, we sit a lot. These hip flexors get very tight, yeah. So we're gonna just gently stretch them out. So we're gonna start with the right leg here, and we're gonna just step back onto the ball of the foot Align your left, this right heel straight back. Good. And then you're going to bend this left knee. Good. Let's bring your hands either onto our hips. You can hold onto your chair with one hand if you need. Good. And so we're in this little lunge here. And I want you to feel your hips 
tuck under and forward. So scoop your hips forward and then relax them and scoop your hips forward. So you should be feeling a little bit more of a stretch and relax. There's a soft bend in that right knee and scooch forward and back. Good. Now take a breath in. And as you exhale, see if you can sink your right knee a little closer, straight down towards the floor and then lift it up. And then draw that knee down to the floor. So we're dropping the hips and lifting the hips here. And dropping and lifting. And one more. Just massaging out this hip flexor, your glute muscle. This is good work for the glute muscle. Now relax this lunge. Lean forward slightly. And on an inhale breath, bring that right foot forward. Yeah. So when we, we scoop our hips, you know, when we make that motion in that pose, you feel that stretch on that hip flexor. And again, please just take this to your range of motion. Yeah. We've got the sun coming in on this day. I think it's the 21st. One more month to the darkest day. So we're almost there and then things will start getting light again. Not to look in the future or anything, but yeah. All right. So soften the knees. We're going to slide that left foot back now just to where it's comfortable for you. Yeah. And again, make sure that the heel's not caving in, that it's going straight back. You can even look if you don't have a screen or a mirror to look at. Good. And then we're going to soften this right knee. Yes, a little bit. So if the right knee is going beyond the right toe, you want to have a wider, a longer stance. Yeah, good. Okay, so get your alignment. Take some time to get your alignment. Good. And then there's a soft bend in this left knee here. Right knee's bent a little bit right above the heel. And now press your tailbone forward and relax it back. And press it forward. And relax it back. And press it forward and relax it back. Good, take a nice breath in. And as you exhale, <clears throat> see if you can sink your hips. So bending this, taking this left knee a little closer to the floor. And then inhale, straighten the knee, lift the heel, exhale, just very little, just to where it's a little bit of a challenge for you. There's no pain in especially that knee. Yeah, and you're just massaging up and down, going up and down. Yeah, and last one. Good, and then relax. Yes, and then lean forward, or you can hold on to your chair. And on an in big inhale breath, bring that back leg forward. Yeah, and shake out one ankle at a time. Yeah, good. Holding on to a chair or the, your chair, and maybe just uh, doing a few circles with one ankle, and doing a few circles with the other ankle. Yeah, just releasing or wiggling that might feel better and then wiggling the body good all right so we're going to come into a little bone building um a little a, a stomp so being very mindful here i don't know what is going on with your skeletal system your bone mass right but um having a little your chair here to hold on to so you can just come to one side of your chair here and basically what we're gonna be doing is to be forward. We wanna have a nice tall spine. We wanna have our head right above our shoulders. So we don't want the head coming forward. We wanna be standing nice and tall. Yeah. And we're basically going to be lifting, we'll start with the outside, the left foot maybe, the foot about nine inches above the floor. And then as if there's a, I guess a bug that we wanna stomp on, then we just drop the heel and stomp that little bug <laughs> or you know you don't have to kill a bug you can just stop so lifting up and then like you want to smoosh it and lifting up and down and one more lifting up and down so that vibration that happens that goes up your skeletal system turns on that mechanism in our body our osteoblasts 
to build bone. It's like, oh, they need some bone here. So let's just do that on the other side. Again, being very mindful, keeping a nice tall spine, keeping the head above the shoulders, mostly uh, dropping that heel is where you want that um, most of the pressure when you stomp down. Yeah, and you don't have to go up as high, you know, or you can just do those little heel drops that we do. Yeah, so nice tall spine. Let's do the opposite leg. So lifting it up about nine inches and then coming down and lifting up and coming down and lifting up and stomp down. And one more. Yeah. All right. And of course, always check with your doctor. I don't know if you have knee replacements or whatever, but just take again, take this just to your range of motion when it's, if it feels okay. Yeah. All right. So we're going to come into a little <clears throat> head. We're going to get some blood flow to our head. So you can either have your um, hands on the back of your chair here. Yeah. Or you can use your thighs. Yes. Yeah, so take a nice big breath in. And as you exhale, you're going to send your hips back. You can keep a straight spine, especially if you have osteoporosis in the spine. Keep the spine pretty straight, or you can just drop your body forward into a forward fold. So however it's comfortable for you, either looking down at the floor or you can drop the crown of your head. Yeah, tuck that tummy up, tuck that navel area to your, your um, spine, your back spine. Engage that core. Good. And if you feel like it, if it's in, in your, you know, purview that it feels comfortable, you can just let the arms hang down like a rag doll and find your breath. Yeah. So keeping the body where it's comfortable. Again, you want the spine not to round. If you have osteoporosis, you don't want a, a severely rounded spine. So just take it where it comes. You need the body can be almost all the way up and you can have the heads down and the arms dangle. Yeah and breathe, belly's tucked, and two, and one, good. And then bring your hands back to your thighs if they were hanging down. Walk your hands up your thighs, keep your head down until the chest comes up, the shoulders are up, the head comes up, and good. Ha, and then let's just reach our arms out and reach them up, and then look up a little bit towards where the ceiling meets the wall. Find a few breaths here, pose of gratitude, lift your palms up, reach your fingers down. And this is a, should be grateful every day, but this time of year is, brings it more into the, the, you know, everywhere, this Thanksgiving. So just being grateful for this moment. That's all, simple, make grateful simple so many things to be grateful for and just let the universe the divine energy fill you up with grace good and then relax and slowly bring your hands into anjali mudra prayer position rest your arms hands onto your heart yes heart that area of gratitude as well yeah and take a nice big breath in and exhale your arms down all right and then we're gonna just come into a little bit of a back bend here. Actually, let's do that seated. So let's come back to our chairs. Standing in front of your chair. Uh, and again, we're going to chair pose down to our chair. So sending your hips back, coming into that chair uh, pose standing, knowing that that seat's right behind you. Take a breath in. And exhale, maybe come a little closer so you feel the thighs engage. Yes. Press your hands into your thighs and your thighs into your hands. And then maybe you come down a little bit more. Send those hips back a little bit more. And then at any point in time, you can hold on to the front of your chair and slowly let your hips reach your chair. Nice. Good. Sitting down and standing up is an asana practice, yeah. Okay, so let's be scooted a little bit forward in our chair, then let's bring our legs out nice and wide. Good, just getting to the inside of our thighs here. 
as, as comfortable as, you know, as, as wide for you, right? Knees right above the heels. Good. Yeah, so we don't want the knees caving in. Good. So keeping that in mind, we're going to come forward a little bit. We're going to take a breath in. And as you exhale, press your belly forward. Keep those thighs out. Don't let them start coming in. Good. And then maybe you put your elbows onto your thighs. That feels okay. Let your hands relax. You can look down and breathe. So you're gently pushing your legs open with your elbows as you take a few breaths here. And each time you exhale, see if you can relax your legs, your hips, and open them up just a little bit more. Yeah. Good. Two. For one. Good. And then when you're ready, let's go ahead and bring one hand onto your thighs and the other hand onto your thighs. Press down into your feet and slowly bring your body back up. Good. Ah. And then toe, heel, toe, heel, your feet back to hip distance apart. And we'll end with a nice back bend. So we're going to take our arms and draw them back. Grab onto the back of your chair somewhere. Good. And now relax your shoulders and just reach them back as if like you want your shoulder blades to touch on your back, upper back. Yeah. Ah, so good for that computer head down all day long, every day thing. Yeah, take a breath in. And then as you exhale, just allow the body to fall forward. Relax the head forward wherever it lands. Close your eyes and breathe. Stretching from the top of your head down your neck, down between your shoulder blades and your spine to your tailbone. And when you're ready, slowly press down into your feet and slowly let the body come back up. Good. And release the arms down. So nice, everyone. Good. So let's get ready for final relaxation. Feel free to lay down into the asana. Sit your body all the way back. At this point, you know the drill. Make sure that your body's comfortable. Palms up on your lap. You're warm enough, so grab something to put on if you feel a little, even a tiny bit chilly. Yes, good. So take about a few seconds to just settle yourself in nice and comfortably and close your eyes. And good. So we're gonna take a nice breath in and feel the belly rise and breathe out and feel the belly draw back. And breathe in and breathe out and relax the breath now. Begin to relax the body. Notice just the act of closing the eyes. to relax and just the intention of letting go and surrendering just for this next two to three minutes and take a nice breath in and let go Breath. head neck Shoulders, arms, all of your internal organs, belly soft, legs relaxed, feet, toes. Take a breath in and breathe in healing energy. And breathe out and exhale all the stress, tension, thoughts. And 
nothing to do now, nothing to know, nothing to be, but just here. healing, breathe out stress. Relax. Feel free to remain here as long as you'd like today. And if you choose to come back, let's take a little bit deeper breath in and let go. And gently and slowly, you may be, begin to move the body, wiggle the toes, maybe the fingers sway gently, deepen the breath slightly, smile on the face, and then slowly come back to stillness and gently float your hands into prayer position and rest them onto your heart. Take a nice big breath into the belly. And as you breathe out, draw the belly back and drop your head, relax your shoulders. And closing practice today with this. Sometimes the best thing you can do is not think, not wonder, not imagine, not obsess. Just breathe and have faith that everything will work out for the best. When you're feeling ready and complete at your own pace, you may gently begin to flutter the eyes open as you lift your head. And I thank you all for coming and taking care of yourself. I have so much gratitude in my heart for all of you and all of those out in the world. And I wish everyone a beautiful, lovely, grateful Thanksgiving. Have a lovely rest of your day. Namaste.